Fairy, the adventure of Fairy will go down in the history of this fort. I hope so. In what capacity, I do not know. I am perhaps a little worried. Right, okay. Jewelers. Oh, wow, we got so many cut. Yes, cut all of the gems. Uh, make them repeat. What? You can... What? How long have you been able to do that? We can cut and encrust with bauxite and all that. Wow, okay. It's kind of awesome. No doubt. Right, we've got some clay here. Oh, this is fantastic. And we've got some sand here. So literally, we can gather all we need from up the top here. So sand, clay. Clay, sand. That is fantastic. All right, well, uh, all I need to do, sand, clay. Make a little, little uh, area here. Uh, about that big. Um, what is it? Sand and clay. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That little zone there will uh, supply our entire fort forever. Because they don't ever run out, from what I understand. Oh, Dr. Moriarty. Yes, leave one gem uncut for moods. That's a very good point. Um... Yeah, we'll leave the black opals, I think. Let's, uh... No, 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 damn it. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Black opal cancel. Thank you very much, Dr. Mariotti. You saved me from a potentially terrible situation, eh? Okay, so people are going to start doing this. Now, I could start putting my regular tradesmen into the military. Now, the thing with that is because obviously we've got a couple of people who are literally, that is their profession, they are soldiers. But we've got some people who are more civilians than soldiers, but could be training alongside the soldiers and could be in the same soldier, soldier group. Now, the, the question with that would be, how would I send that out? I'm thinking that if I have two squads, well, to be honest, if I did have two squads, then I could do it much like I did in Nomoria, where um, the squads, I, I made sure that, for example, I had one miner, one lumberjack, one, oh, the, 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 the trades which trained up their various stats, so that they would be better able to, to fight with, so strength, that sort of thing, um, in each group. And then I had them training at alternate times, so at any particular time, there was always one that was doing that job available um, to the fort, so that there was never a time that I didn't have a miner, never a time I didn't have a lumberjack available, but both of them were gaining significant military training. I could start doing that with, with the dwarves and instead of actually having a dedicated uh, military. But, I mean, I could still have a dedicated military and perhaps their training schedule would be a little bit more rigorous. Um, hmm, that would certainly be interesting. I think I might actually go for that, you know? I think that might be a good idea. Let me just work on... Where on earth is my cursor? I see it not. Oh, there we are. Uh, I think I will work on that, but I'll have to have a think of how I'm going to organize it, because it's a lot of messing around with who's going to be in the squads, etc., etc., Let's get them all going. Right, we've got our plants. Now, we've only got prickleberries and long and glass. Uh, prickleberries, long and glass. I'll just rotate them. That seems fair enough. Okay. Well, you've actually got barley. So, yeah, we'll go for the barley there. We've got barley there as well. Oh, 
Okay, we'll start rotating these uh, crops, trying to uh, get as much planted as we can while we can. And what have we got going on outside? We've got nothing going on outside, which is fantastic to see. I'm pleased by this. Pleased, I tell you. And uh, let's start removing these ramps. We do not want the scallywags able to get down to us via these locales. Uh, up here as well, pretty much don't want you getting down to us from here. Uh, in, well, actually, you know what? It would be fine if I did this. Because they would have to go so far in order to get up here. But they would probably just bypass anything that they wanted to do to my animals. Unfortunately, I'm about to make an awfully long walk for my dwarves. And I, I do apologize, dwarves. And that's just the way it's going to have to be. Roma Battalion. Ava, can you build a squad and leave it inactive with an armor stand for the squad? They will individually train when idle. Ah, okay, I see. Ava, it's Boo Smith. I think we should focus all our resources on making more booze. Let's make it our top priority above all else. So, to be for honest, you're not that far off. We probably should. And you already are. And let's make some more easy meals if we can, please. There we go. Also, I'm going to lock these doors for now. Um, for bid passage, so that they can grow a little bit more. Okay, now, the next very, very important thing for us to do is first make a bars and blocks area. Now, this will bring down blocks from at the top as well, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. Uh, we'll place it there. Go for the settings. We want this to pretty much accept only bars and blocks, but not stone. Well, actually, stone and clay, I guess. Yeah, okay, we'll uh, just set this one up not to. So, bars and blocks, you're off limits. So, forbid. Uh, sorry, block. Oh, disable. There we go. And we've got more puppies. Fantastic. Look at all those beautiful puppies. We're going to have a whole army of war dogs soon. Okay, what else are we going to have to do? We need to set up our levers So build. Oh, actually, we've already got that area set up to be uh, engraved. We just don't have anyone to set to engrave. Let's set up our stonesmiths to do that. Yeah. And then up here we are going to build our um, training grounds. Or at least we will just as soon as we've got a few more blocks. Because I want to separate it a little bit. Uh, more blocks. Plenty of blocks, please. And what I'm thinking of doing is drawing a wall around here. About that long with a door there. And then the military will train in here. This will be their outdoors barracks sort of thing. So if anything managed to get through our, our bridge trap section, it would have to engage the military in, in there. Now, of course, the thing with this is it's uh, not really addressing the whole they can climb over one tall walls part. We need to deal with that, actually, quite quite badly. We'll get to it, though. Hopefully. We might not, but hopefully. Gunti188, I need to go. See you, Alec. Take care, Gunti. Axelian, what is needed is a Lizzie and a Soprancy, Alec. Oh, that's true. They will be able to crush any foe, no matter how mighty. Or determined. Are there any new... No, it doesn't look like there are... Even the slightest hints of having new uh, cactuses. That is incredibly bad because without that we have no means of uh, producing new of producing fuel. So I am actually thinking it's time for us 
to dig deep. As much as I don't want to. So the door will be there. Then the, the stairs down will start here. There we go. And then it's just going to keep going down for a little while. Uh, let's just get into position. So we want I, as much as I dislike doing this, I really dislike the idea of up downstairs. We'll do it. I prefer to make spiral staircases or something like that. Let's just keep going down for a little bit and we'll see what we can hit. Eventually we'll have to hit something. Though, it's whether we want to hit the thing that we hit is the question. Right, I'll leave it at that for now. And we'll see what we can do. That's a good couple of levels. Hey, someone's become a craft dwarf. Right, build construction wall. Uh, not quite enough granite blocks, I'm afraid. We'll have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, we've got a... What? An animal has grown to a stray horse. Have we got any other horses? Uh, stray horse. Chick. Horse, horse, horse. So, stray horse. Uh, sorry. Don't need you. I know. It's, it's cruel. But it, it's just the way it is. Goodbye. Alright, what's going on in the kitchen then? Barley. They can cook potato plants. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, okay. They can start cooking the plump helmets too. You can start cooking the prickle berries. Oh, actually. We really do need to start turning those plump helmets into wine a little bit faster than we are. Uh, seeds. Good. Not cooking any of those. Prickle berry seeds are quite a lot of them. Right, okay, stop cooking this. You can cook the dwarven wine and the barley wine, but that's all you can cook. The rest is no go. Frost Flame, Avak, how long have you been streaming for, mate? Uh, four hours and 42 minutes exactly. Stray horse has been slaughtered. Stray horse is going to be turned into delicious, delicious food. Easy meal, thank you. It looks like we have some eggs being laid right now. Let's go and check that. I want to forbid... Uh, oh, okay. No? View description. It doesn't actually look like there are any eggs in there. That's curious. Are there any, perhaps if I look like this, stray go- oh, it's a stray gobbler! He's just standing there! <laughs> I should've checked. Uh, that would've been awkward if you were laying eggs. Right. Oh, uh, they haven't even begun on this because they're currently busy engraving, but that's fine because they'll be getting very good at it. And we're planting plenty of other seeds as well, so it's, it's, it's all okay in the end. Right, what do we have? No, still the same things. Nothing I can particularly uh, grow there. Let's have a look in here, though. Do we have processed plants? Processed barrel? Uh, oops. Spin thread, sheer animal. Uh, milk animal, let's get that one up there. Let's see how that one goes. But uh, honestly, I don't think we've got enough people who are working those jobs to get all the work done. Robum MC11, Avak, what will you be streaming next time? If you mean on Saturday, it'll be community choice, so uh, whatever gets voted for, basically. But we need to construct our levers. 
So, leather. I would like one in the Great Hall, because there's... Oh, well, actually, it may not always be someone in the Great Hall. So, why, why don't we put a leather in the barracks here? In the dormitory, rather. Yeah, okay, we'll put one there. Granite mechanism. Then we're going to want another one down here, just ahead of time. Yes. Now, I'm going to want to do that. Uh, we're going to want um, another mechanism for attention to the bridge. Then... About another 12. So we'll leave it at that for now. GLS 13. The stairs aren't connected, so the doors can't reach them. It should be. Yeah, that's connected. It is. It is mined out. It's just that that's a wall, and it's highlighting it black. Unfortunately. Um, needs plump helmet spawn. Can't blue drink. Needs empty food storage item. Okay, well that's fine. We can get a bunch of rock pots made. Q rock pot. 30, please. Oh, wait. Uh, why are you not doing this? Have I not set you up as... Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's some days... Most days, actually. Where I really do question my sanity. Right, well, let's see. Do we have enough to make a bag Cl yarn bag I would like to set up some bags we made uh, I should have some thrashes let me uh, double check uh, are these not thrashes yes yes they are but these are my plant smiths that was silly of me. That was very silly of me. Let me set up the Threshers as my Beastmasters. There we go. That'll be a little bit easier. Okay. Got a lot of hauling jobs going on outside, which is fine. You know what? I think we should set up this one little cactus, this one lonely cactus. If I'd realised they wouldn't go back, I wouldn't have um, gotten rid of it. But uh, we'll set up that one tiny lonely cactus as a gather point. So hopefully they'll automatically gather the food. Oh, there we go. Now then, the question is, what's going on up here? I've got some fire opals I could gather. I'm not particularly inclined to at the moment. Uh, how are the animals up here doing? Uh, they're not doing too bad. What are our beast masses up to? No job, no job, no job. Absolutely no job. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do they perhaps need some sort of job to use the... Farmer's um, workshop? No, it doesn't look like it. No. I wonder why they're not doing it then. Because these... Uh, do tasks now! Then that... Do all of these tasks right now! Tasks to be done. Artisan, construct iron bread, needs some yarn. I'm not sure why they're not activating that for some reason. What? 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 How did that happen? I have no idea how that upstairs got taken away, but so someone said it before. It's not connected. I thought you were talking about the other stairs. I'm an idiot. A damned fool. Okay. I'm so sorry. 
you were probably sat there like, oh my god, Avak, please, please listen to me, Avak. You're hurting my brain with how, how dumb you're being. And I was there in a world of my own. It is, it is fixed now, hopefully. There we go, let's link that bridge up. Uh... Now. I don't want to make Atom Smashers. I feel that Atom Smashers are particularly uh, cheesy. What I want instead is to create... A, uh, see, everyone's getting up there now. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's create an area. No, not quite there yet. About here, which will go down to the next level. And I'll want it to go several layers deep. This is specifically going to take t take us to the. Actually, why am I doing that? No, let's not do do it that way. We'll keep this area for something else. We'll go down the mine section because I'm probably going to be seeing that area used a bit more. Ultimately, what I want to do is with this stair. Let's count how, how many floors down. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16. You know what? If we haven't hit the caverns by, by this point, that's fine. Because this is going to be where we set up our war dog kennel. Very, very deep down. Actually, not quite there. We'll go down one more and... Up stairway, because then it'll give me a nice, uh, a nice end to this. Because I want the way up into our fort to be through the war dog kennel, in a way. Um, this is going to be the drop. Basically, I'm going to channel this area out. It's going to have. Um, it will have bridges over the top of it. And they'll all be connected to the same level. That'll be the, the lower level lever here. The idea will be that if invaders are coming through, there'll be doors halfway along each corridor and at the tips of each corridor. And those will hopefully slow down the invaders. They'll have to come through here. And when they're slowed at the doors, all I need to do is pull the lever, retract the bridges, dump them down like 17 levels, which will hopefully not kill them, but will stun them. At that point, I can have my military there. In the, there'll just be a kennel of war dogs down there, just full of war dogs, and the war dogs can set upon them. But hopefully, if I've had time to prepare, I'll have my military station down there. So as they're falling down and splatting on the ground and being stunned, my military moves in as well, along with the war dogs. That's the idea. Okay, let's see. Um. Really happy with everything we've got going at the moment. There's still a lot of uh, engraving going on. Let's have a quick look at how stressed people are. People are really happy, generally. Chosen one. Let's see what you, you feel. I finished up some work. I'm very satisfied. She feels satisfied at work. Within the last season, she was embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. She was blissful, dining in a fantastic dining room. She was interested near a fine seat. She was interested near a fine seat. She was interested near a fine door. She was interested near a fine table. She was also interested near a fine table. She was interested near a fine seat. My lord, the interest in that dining room. I... I've never met anyone who was this interested in furniture, but I am glad to have met them now. It has enriched my life to know how happy someone can be from well-constructed furniture. She was blissful dining in a great dining room. She was annoyed when caught in the rain. Well, that's perfectly fine. Now, did that fill up at all? Uh, I think it's slightly filling up. Not much, but uh, it's getting there a little bit. Okay, well... Slowly, little by little, we are uh, fortifying all of the walls, and it's looking okay. 
And House of Darkness, how big is the trapdoor going to be? I've had about 17. About 17. I'm thinking about 17. I'm not really sure on that one. But uh, I, I was thinking around that sort of level. How far should it be? Should Would 10 be a better better level to, to take it down to instead of 17? Because if so, then I'll just shorten that corridor. Because what I would like to do is that corridor would have to go through the War Dog Kennel. That way, anything that's coming up from the, the depths, from the caverns, has to go through the War Dog Kennel to get to the rest of my fort first. And slowly, all of the rooms are being fleshed out. I am, I'm fairly pleased with it, but yeah. And the Lupinian, could I have a Dwarf Avec? I'll generally be picking names, not when people ask for them, but uh, just if someone's talking when I get a migrant wave. And Kenny125C, hello Avak, hello Kenny125C. And Nathan, I need a basic explanation of this game. Uh, yeah, that would be hard. But I'm fairly certain that someone in my chat will be able to help you with that because it would take me a little bit too long. Um, but please, if someone could uh, give them the, the rundown of how the game works, that would be very, very, very good of you. Right, let's uh, build out our wall over here. We are bound to have the blocks by now. 83 granite blocks, my lord! It's fantastic! Let's get that one there as well. And we'll also bring this wall down just slightly. Because, you know, I, I want the place to look nice. I even want the place where they're dumping all of their rubbish to look nice, you know? It, it's just the way it's got to be. There we go. Granite blocks. Fantastic. Now, I am going to uh, quickly adjust this. Let's get rid of you. Now I know the proper dimensions of this area, we are going to expand it. So it's uh, nice and big, like that. Then, this will be the uh, refuse area. But I do not want skulls. Uh, for bit skulls, bones, shells, teeth, horns, and hair wool, because I can use all of those things, and I would very much like to. Right, has this been hooked up? Let's uh, quickly check. Can you link to a bridge? No, good. That means that bridge has been hooked up. If there's still nothing to catch in that swamp, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Uh, looks like they're moving barrels around. Wow, that's the first time I've seen barrels being brought up for a long time. Let's see, can we uh, set anything up there? Yes, we can. Let's go. Revenge Master, Avak, what is your in-game goal at the moment? I am trying to uh, set up, just to, to increase the, the protection in this area. And it looks like our, oh, fantastic, our turkey hens have laid. Now, what we can do is we can forbid these eggs from being taken. Then we can unlock the doors because we want many more turkey hens than we've currently got. So we're going to permit passage from now on. We want these t kept tightly closed, though. We don't want any pets getting in. But that should allow us soon to get plenty of turkey hens. Like, once you've got, like, six or seven turkey hens, you're producing so much eggs that uh, you really don't have to, to want too much. Right. And... Okay, so apparently at... at I, I forget who mentioned it now, but I think someone did say... At uh, 20 levels, they will their limbs will explode from the drop. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 should be good then. We should be safe with 16. It will be a fall big enough to really hurt them and stun them, possibly wound them terribly, but they won't be dead, and that means our military can train on them. And our war dogs can, you know, quench their thirst for blood. Uh, it's a bonding experience, you know, between between a master and his war dog. Right, the, the uh, trade caravan has arrived. A caravan from Dobar Mudash has arrived. No outpost liaison. How curious. See, I have no idea what that means. But I think it means something awesome. I like it. But, before we get to trading... I'm going to go on a bit of a tea break, because it's, it's about that time. My throat is once again 
incredibly parched. So I'm going to uh, step away for two to five minutes. I, if you haven't already gone on a tea break throughout the stream, do so because it isn't good for you to sit still for that long staring at a computer screen. I mean, I'm not, not being weird about that. It's nothing about your eyes, all that kind of nonsense. Modern screens aren't going to do any damage to your eyes. Seriously, just get up, get the blood flowing a little bit. Wake yourselves up. You need, you need your, your attention with you because I'm not going to notice something terrible going wrong. I rely on you guys. So I will see you in about five minutes.